So what's the difference between the HTML5 canvas and ActionScript 3? Quite a lot. Let's explore that in this video in Adobe Animate CC 2019. So let's take a look at ActionScript 3.0 first. If I go in there and I'm gonna create, I'll keep mine at 640 by 480 because the height and width is not that critical for this demonstration. If you open ActionScript 3, maybe, there it is, it looks like normal. It doesn't look too bad. And if we open an HTML5 version, let's do an HTML5 canvas, and say create. If you look at the two, they look pretty much identical. And that's because, well, they almost are on the front facing surface. But if we dig through a little bit in the back, so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this file and I will say HTML5 example, if I can type correctly. And both files end in the FLA version. So if I save the canvas and I save my flash, so I will say flash example.fla. They both end in .fla for the legacy flash now animate CC. But let's set our project settings and take a look at the differences. Flash example.fla, I'm gonna go into publish settings. So if we look at it, what happens is, is that the FLA or the ActionScript 3.0 exports a SWIF, as you can see right here, publish flash SWF. Flash player 30, you can go back to way, way back to flash player 10.3. That's talking like middle 2000s. That's going way, way, way back. Now, why would we use this? The answer is, well, we really wouldn't. That's because the action script slash flash really died. In fact, Apple wrote the official letter on April 2010. Apple penned a letter, actually Steve Jobs did, and basically said flash is dead or thoughts on flash. It was that big. And so I'm recording this in February 2019. It almost took Adobe nine years to go, hey, wait a second, <laughs> we got a big problem here. What I mean by a problem is Apple knocked Flash off all of their mobile devices and then eventually off their tablet devices, which means if you created something inside of Adobe Animate now, formerly Flash, and you ran it through ActionScript 3 slash Flash.SWF, you could not run this on a mobile device or a tablet. Big problem. So what did Adobe do? They created a new format. Actually, it's been around for a while on this HTML5. And now if we go here and I say File, Publish Settings, now you have a whole new formatting range. It doesn't mention ActionScript, Swift, Flash Player, anything. What this does is this project now allows you to publish on the web and run your designs and animations through a tablet, a mobile device, or any other device that Apple deems worthy of HTML5. Actually, Apple wouldn't deem it worthy, it just is what it is. Now, if you go back once again, it's easy to see how they can create confusion. But it's more about the exportation of these two. So whenever you're working in Adobe Animate CC, unless you're creating something that's Flash specific, which I haven't really used ActionScript in the past five, six, seven years now, everything I've done has been web-based or HTML5. So when you are working in Animate, it's easy to get tripped up because the menus and everything else looks almost exactly the same. But just remember to always default to HTML5 going forward and not ActionScript 3. Thank you.